Mmm, I hate him. Yeah, he has his yeah, arm still, yeah. Just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. I just need to, to talk to, to Holly. Holly. Privately. Alright, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And I hate him. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw him out. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. Jack will what remember that. I'm no. sorry, Jack, but you're gonna go out. Ah. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Jack and the beanstalk, you were right. Let me tell you. You were right, sir, in the chat, King Cal. You were right, it was indeed Jack and the beanstalk. Have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Don't you dare talk to my woman! Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. And before she a breaking of glass, hold it, hold it. Let her get calm. I don't want to mess about with her. If she transforms, she's gonna bite me. <laughs> I was gonna say, Snow, go with her. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. I kind of missed a dialogue option. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not this language, please. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? At least I'm happy I took snow with me now. They don't bite, they troll. Because they're trolls. Ah, see what you did there. See what you did there. I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Hmm. What's that scar on their back? She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh god. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. 
That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Yeah, it could be a tattoo on her oh, back as well. It's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. <sighs> well, you've been a tremendous help. Truly. I clicked on the she? option. Where is I she? I clicked on the up. She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. <laughs> Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the you business office. Promise, Holly, the body. And start making the necessary preparations. All right. It's unfortunate though, because this is the second dialogue I missed because I click, but it doesn't trigger. I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Look at that. Snow's happy with me again. Disregarding the hole in the wall, clearly. <laughs> no one is going to disregard that casually. Sisters, achievement unlocked. The Puddin and Pie. Uh oh. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> huh? Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I'm sorry. I lied, woman. I lied. I'm a I friend. I warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Got a way with people, you see. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. That's my plan. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. <laughs> Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never, you're never smile. smile. It's your face. All right, lad. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure. She will remember that. Who the hell is she? He's got more tattoos than skin. You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? <laughs> <laughs> means whatever you like. Fuck off! Right price. If 
Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> it's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Hmm. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just, Just fucking, fucking with, with you. you. <laughs> Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. <laughs> this is exactly it's what I would though. expect from a thug <laughs> like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. <laughs> if Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh, no, fuck. All right, he was about to give me a you punch. Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. He was about to give You're me a punch. Yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Break his boom box. Fuck, fuck up, Hans. Hans? Of Hans and Griddle? No way. Hey. Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Hans looks like he's seen Why some shit. Look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in a it? a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Smash boombox, tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now. Hey now. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. I will confuse you, sir. Don't even think about it. Smash the TV. Just tell me where he is. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? Uh, I'm no sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to show story. some teeth. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. 